he says as he dies 20 more times. <laughs> Okay, that's definitely a bonus or something back there. <laughs> or just bananas. Alright. Dump. Alright. Yeah, if you got a, right. if you got quarter of a second, look. <laughs> I just, you know what, you can look at it later, Harry. I just, I just posted something in the, in, in the chat. <laughs> uh. No way. All right then. Sure. I'll say it was a Nick. <laughs> okay. What did you look at it? Yeah, I looked at it. You get it? Uh, kind of. <laughs> it was like how the investigation team handles me while social distancing. <laughs> yeah. I like how Reese is in the, in the dance here from P4D. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? I. Because <laughs> Donkey Kong's not something shiny. The shiny. Also, uh, one other thing. Like, it's a nice little detail is that when you. I can talk because I. <laughs> uh, when, when you get items, it does that little shake thing. On the icons, um, that kind of, uh, that effect kind of reminds me of Jungle Beat in a way. Mm. Yeah, I know that at one point in this level, by the way, you're gonna have to let go of a duck really quickly. Yeah, I remember this one being fairly difficult. It's mostly in terms of the collectibles. Yeah. I think it's coming up actually. Yeah! Damn it. Oh my god. That's like... Don't worry about that for now. No, I uh, will. I will. I'll be able to get second run because getting that eh. O is so precise. Uh, I yeah. That O is incredibly precise. I, I, yeah, I'd prefer getting all the collectibles in one run if I can help it though. Fair enough. That's just, yeah, that's just how I play games. I can't help it. I don't know if you have to duck that, it. but it just feels right. <laughs> I don't know, but very safe and sorry. Yeah. There you have a duck, though. You have to be a silly duck. Go like that. Wait. Donald. Wait. Yeah. I know one of my favorite things is uh. About going to like a park or something is just feeding ducks. I thought you were gonna say one of your favorite things was Donald speaking normally. <laughs> Doesn't he do that now in DuckTales? Um, in once. Like he he did it once in like the season one finale, and uh, apparently he does it again in season three. Some at some point. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's like D Donald, what are you saying? Th these kind of kinds of things like all oh crap. These kinds of things like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you've been saying? Yeah. Huh. Oh me. Still one of my favorite things in the reboot is the fact that they, they actually had Scrooge do the pogo jump. Ugh. It's like for like three seconds, but it's like, oh man, they did the thing. They did the thing! The dream of every person watching a reboot? Yeah. I mean... I gotta keep like impossible to miss. Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that they, like, they, uh, had the, they, um, brought, like, bre breathed new life into the moon theme. So that was pretty cool. 
come no one, how come... What was I gonna say? No one talked about DuckTales 2. Yeah, no one I didn't actually know that existed until Clement did a playthrough of it. I, I heard it's not a bad game. It, it looked... From what I remember seeing, it looked fine. I kind of wish they did a DuckTales 2 remastered, but... Well, it's kind of, well yeah, they'll, well, they'll have to use a new voice now. Yeah, yeah. I do... Gosh, they literally... Yeah, every darn near all... The majority of the, the original DuckTales cast is gone now. It's Yeah, unfortunately. Time has passed. Yeah, yeah and I, I, I think the, I think the, uh, remas in the remastered 2 would be kind of weird without the old cast. Yeah, I can't see... Like, the, um, new guys? Yeah, yeah, you cheeky... I was gonna say, you remember that. <laughs> yeah, you cheeky buggers. Um... Yeah. Okay, we're, we're safe. Um... Yeah, I can't imagine going, like, seeing the old... The old DuckTales crew with the new voices. That just doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. You have to, I mean... If they were adhering to the, since the, wait, what happened? What did I say? Since DuckTales 2 came out only a few years after the original series ended, it's obviously meant to be em emulating DuckTales 87. Right. And they would ever green light a remaster, they'd probably just hire sound alikes for the 1987 cast. And Scrooge already has a sound alike for Alan Young. Mm. I do feel like it would be cool to get like a. A uh, reboot DuckTales game, though. I think that'll be pretty cool. Days of licensed games for children's properties with decent budgets seems to be long gone now. Yeah. Unless you're Lego. Pretty much. The licensed stuff has just gone to Lego entirely. Well, it's because I don't really tr it's, it's really hard to trust anyway with licensed stuff nowadays. Yeah. I mean, that was- it, it was always hard to trust people with licensed stuff. Yeah, the I know. Disney games were the like, exception, not the rule. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like, I mean, like, you, when you- you get- you either get something like Batman- Batman Forever on Super Nintendo, which is like one of the worst things I've ever played. <laughs> yeah. Or, or you, you get, like- Toy or Story 2. Like, well, I was gonna say- I was gonna say Battle for Bikini Bottom, actually. Oh, that too, yeah. Um... Yeah, I, the reason why Val is getting the rehydrate in the re the remake treatment. I could be. I, I, I could. Be, any... Huh? Go on, Harry. I, I was proud of Cap. What were you saying? That's that. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say I could be talking about uh, talking out my ass when I say this, but I feel I feel like most of the reason why we don't have as many licensed games now might be because of this just the the production values and how much it takes to how much money it takes to make a game nowadays, where I feel like it's come to a point where it's just not worth it, so, I, I don't know, I, I could be wrong, but I feel like that might have something to do with it. Games are more expensive, we don't have an, a non-HD console to put them on anymore. Yeah. Handheld, dedicated handhelds that aren't the Switch are largely gone now, and most of the mid-tier developers pretty much went bust like a decade ago. Yeah. Uh, Seven yeah. generations kind of crippled this industry to, in a lot of ways. Yeah, I mean, I really the seventh indus, uh, seventh industry, uh, the seventh uh, generation. Um, uh, jump didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Um, was uh, definitely one of my more uh, favorite parts of uh, parts of gaming growing up, but it did. It did also do uh, some things wrong. World may not have been the right word, but did large, possibly irre irrevocable, irreparable damage. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Miss old THQ, okay? <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, yeah, same. I was like, I was like heartbroken when I found out the, the old THQ, like, Got um bankrupt and just died. Yeah, now all we have is THQ Nordic and that all. Yeah. Yeah, and they're trash. Yeah. Who's doing the D Destroy All Humans uh, re reboot or remake or whatever the hell it is? 
check that. Oh yeah, welcome kids. We're doing the rocket barrel stuff now. Yep. Have fun, Ari. Yeah, so you, uh... I'm, I don't trust uh, this. I was gonna say, I don't blame you for dying right there. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, you, you guys just talk about random nonsense, because I... I no, all well, commentary I got, from me... I gotta, I gotta get my medicine ready, because... You know. Yeah, because like all co all commentary from me for these stages is just gonna be random grunts and crap. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Just focus. Whatever, whatever. I'm just taking my antibiotics now. Uh, here's here's the medium healthy. Yeah. Have you got a pop up? The remake of Destroy All Humans is set to be developed by Black Forth Games. Never heard of them. Have I heard that before? Founded in 2012. Hmm. Um, can you do a little bit of research on Black Forest? <gasps> oh, yeah, that was close. Majority of their stuff has been Gianna Sisters. Ah, damn it. I think I need to kill them. Oh, yeah, I heard of Oh, wait a minute. Wait, didn't they do um, the Bubsy game? Yes, yes, they did the Wooly Strike back. Oh. Congratulations to them. They made the best Bubsy platformer of all time. Not that it's saying much. Yeah. The fact that I'm wow. actually not ironically happy that Bubsy is alive. <laughs> uh, I mean. Damn it, we missed one. Damn it. Okay, I think I, I think yes, you had to kill all the moles. Ugh, oh, god. Hey. Well, at least we got all the players. We don't have to worry about those. Yeah. I, it is still kind of sad that PUBG of all things came back before a lot of, like, other series. I didn't Yeah. PUBG's fault. That's everyone. That's all the other companies' faults. Yeah. I, no, I say it's the, no, I say it's the internet's fault. <laughs> yeah, I mean the fact. Well, I mean, I, I find it. It's kind of silly that it got brought back because of meme status. Like that's not the only reason yeah, why you should yeah, bring back no a series. Like, there's no way it's anything from meme status. Why it's back? Yeah, and I, I, uh, I don't know. I like, mean, I'll say this. It, it, it proves that even the dead can and can get a second and, and, and can get a second go. It it to at least at the very least yeah it, at the very least it no um it pro it proves the. I feel like something. We're chasing the final boss's train. Is it? This, hmm. Is it? The, I think it's the train from the from the boss. It might be. Um. No 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 no! no. It's not because the boss has the bananas. Uh. I guess, Never mind, sorry. I guess we can, like... M well, maybe I guess the bananas later, or is it, like, a different... Well, I think it crashes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. Anyways, um... Where are we? What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, Bubsy. Yeah. Bubsy. Um, I just... I don't know, I, I just... It's kind of. I just find it kind of silly to revive a franchise solely because of memes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's. I mean, it's funny. It is funny, but. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I thought for a while that Bubsy the games at least had some interesting ideas. Mm. You know, for being a bright and Sonic ripoff at points. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, like Sonic was like the popular uh, animal mascot platformer at the time, so a lot of people were trying to get in on that trend. Yeah. Yes, it crashed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they 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 they, they called like Crash One's like code name like the Sonic's ass game for Pete's sake. <laughs> Something inherently wrong with a, with a, with a derivative. It's all in the execution. That's yeah. why Crash is largely well regarded and Bubsy unfortunately is not. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's, really. it's all down to the execution. Yeah. Also, since there's only one more level in the boss, you might as well just finish it up. Yeah, I was, I was, I was expecting oh, this well, to be... And, oh, and Temple. Yeah, I was expecting and this I was to ready. be a lot, a lot longer. 
I'm dr I was dreading this level. Yeah, though. Th this one is like uh, <laughs> one of the most infamous uh, uh, levels. Uh, 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 uh. One of the most infamous levels in this game. How many? Um, are we still dealing with five puzzle pieces? Yes, we are. Okay. Nope. Always got to check the left. Also, th this stage. Yeah, this set has like a really screw off puzzle piece. It just randomly appears here when the, when the bridge falls. It's like, okay, fine. I'm sure we're having a little too much fun. Yeah. yeah. The topic of THQ Nordic remasters, remakes, whatever you want to call them. Um, we haven't seen much actual gameplay of Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I've just seen Jellyfish Fields and that's it. So these yeah, bats are like the bane of of like everyone's existence. I mean, these ones aren't too yeah, bad, but it's like the it's the part of the end specifically. Well, they're the video ones game that they bats you. so ugly. Yeah. Well, they they kind of like really follow you, and it makes you navigating them awkward. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, this guy here. And the, and, and the, Yeah. Yeah, but it's this guy that's the problem. Yeah. He's like. I've been yeah, he torments you throughout the whole stage. Red, red, and then there's this. All right, Donkey Kong, this coconut gun sure would come in handy right now. Oh yeah, I still find it hilarious that in DK64, um, they wanted to actually have a. Oh, uh, oh, damn it! Well, at least I got it. At least I got the puzzle piece. I yeah. always mess up that part. Yeah, it's kind of tricky, um, but I, I love the fact that like in 64 that they, they wanted uh, Donkey Kong yep. and, f and friends to have um, actual firearms, and then Nintendo were just like, yeah, no, <laughs> give him like <laughs> give him like a coconut gun instead. <laughs> Family so, friendly piece. It would have been Shadow the Hedgehog before Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Hey, big buddy. How you doing? Oh, God, has smoke. Oh! Don't like it. That's tired the night. We don't like Alright. Hardboard coming up. Yeah, this is the part that drives everyone insane. He. Okay. Yeah, th this thing. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, because he he's, he's actually following you. Yeah, and those waves actually. Like, they're, they're not. Oh, what is it? They actually try to actively target you. They're not scripted like the rest of the stages. So you, you kind of have to make bait him. It. You, you have to yeah. You have to bait bait it in a way that makes it so you can actually get the collectibles safely, and it's not easy. Especially the first time. Yeah, is anybody know what's coming? You, you yeah. You gotta kind of like start a pot here, I believe. Yeah. Damn it. Did I get it? Uh, at least you got the ball, please. Okay, I could barely tell because I like died into it. Well, I saw the I saw the counter go up. Yeah. Okay. And the G is in this section, so you have to be careful. Where is it? Uh, uh okay, okay. Okay, gotta be. It's we're not in the clear yet. <laughs> We're not- okay! Oh, oh, right, I forgot about that! Holy crud! I forgot about that! Okay, okay, we're in the clear. Good lord. And, wait, wait, where's what? the last puzzle piece? Are you kidding me? Here? Wait, wait is it in that Minecraft, maybe? In the wall? What the bat. The bat? Okay. No. Grabby, look it up. Oh my god, what did I miss? Oh, okay. Grab you looking it up? Yes, I'm looking it up. Did we miss one at the beginning? I hope not. Yeah, we're not. We're... So the walkway collapses, run into the wall on the left for a bonus area. We did Wait, do a bo we did do a bonus, didn't we? No, actually. What the? Okay, hold on. Wait, as soon as the walkway collapses, what? After the walkway collapses, walk to the left. Okay. After, after Run to the wall on the left for a bonus area. 
Not that one. It's not the. Okay, so it goes down and then goes to the left. I think it's down there. Okay, I guess I just. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, it, it, I think you just didn't completely go left. Yeah, I. I didn't. It didn't register that there'd be a thing here because it looked. Yeah. It, it didn't look like there was anything here. It was just a wall? It, yeah, it just looked like a wall. Okay. Always bumping the walls in this game. We learned our lesson. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Well, yeah, that, 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 that like. Level, like, fully. That's like. Completely camouflaged into the into the like wall, like you can you can, you can like barely see that. Anyways, now we just gotta clear the level again. Yeah. Go down. Man, that was a really well discussion we had. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing that that I, that I like is that um, <laughs> in Tropical Freeze, they specifically had the bat like frozen in ice and like. Yeah. That that had to have been like a nod to the fact that this level is so infamous. And right, finally we're doing jagged oh wait a minute. Okay, what is this? This one sounds familiar. Guess we'll find out. Well Hey we lied. Yes. In all cars, but there isn't all vehicles in this level. So. <laughs> Spiky boys. Oh good one. This gives me Corona Mountain flashbacks. Don't remind me! <laughs> Fuck Corona Mountain! I think we're gonna say something else for a moment. What do you think I was gonna say? I can't say, Harry, I might get demonetized. <sighs> Alright. Oh god. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, dude! No, that's a bad jump. Damn it, I mistimed. Go! <gasps> Alright. Ah! Jump! Give me the oh god. Pity. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to eventually when I do the hard mode run. Oh god. Doing these levels of one one hit point is gonna shave like 30 years of my lifespan. Each. Yeah! So in counting... a... Sorry, go on. Uh, so in other words, when I beat this game on stream, I'm just gonna kind of die. I'm just gonna kind of die immediately. <laughs> so if we're counting the remix no. of Gear Getaway, Smash 3S and Wii U have three entirely new remixes of the Jungle Level theme, and that is in conjunction with a rip of Jungle Hijinks from Donkey Kong Country Returns directly, and also the DK, the Smash 64 remix, and the Melee remix. <laughs> Brawl remixes. <laughs> oh god. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, no. Man, make sure really miss Kung Pao. And I think All Tropical right. Freeze had a loose remix of the song that got imported into Smash Wii U. Hmm. What? No. I I'm could be wrong, though. Ho 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 ho. That is like, like oh, that's the, a weird, that's the weird one. That is like the weirdest remix in that game, I swear. Why do I- no. I keep making dumb mistakes. I dig it, honestly. I have turned into Santa Claus. I like to imagine it's just the Kong family singing it, and that just- <laughs> I, I like that idea because it's adorable. That's what I- that's what I've been- that's my- so I've been thinking for years. Yeah. The DK rap is actually what is actually what Dr. Kong sounds like when he's intelligent. <laughs> you know, if they had gotten if they had gone the extra mile and got his cartoon voice actor to sing it, that would have been amazing. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh god. A dude, I would I, dude, angel. I would pay for an album at that point. <laughs> Anybody says otherwise is lying to themselves. 
Oh god, I forgot about that. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Man, everything that went wrong there did go wrong. Or everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Yeah. Jeez. Oh dear. Dude, if you're on Diddy, you're like, yeah. ah! <laughs> There's only one Donkey Kong 64 track in Smash Bros. in its entirety. Mm. Which, which, which one? Yeah. And they truncated it. Wait, which one? Oh, yeah. Oh, the ZK rap, right. It's also just a really weird remix in general. <laughs> yeah, dang it. I'm hit! Poking the gun! I heard the melee remix so often that when I finally heard the original version, I was actually kind of disappointed. <laughs> That's funny. The original one is better. Maybe just because the game's amazing. Yeah. I love I I love the I love I love the original just for all the cheese. David, I wasn't David Wise like literally at one point like I'm sorry. I I don't I've never heard I've never heard that. I think it's like cool. eh. no like I know that was him doing singing. No, I think it was. Wise didn't do the singing. It was, it was like Drunk what up. was Sutherland's I think. Oh. Uh. I thought it was like placeholder. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, no, I think I'm thinking of, uh, Mario Plus Rabbit. Oh. It was what was wise. Um, Mar no, Mario Plus Rabbit was Grant Kirk, right? Oh, right, sorry. Uh, God, what? Uh, Mario Plus Rabbit is the reason we have him on music duties in Smash Brothers, actually. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I know they're completely different people when I have their own, but for some reason I always get their names mixed up because it's rare. Mm -hmm. Dog. Oh, so it's Cause, okay. like, I know, cause, like, yeah. one fan go, one Donkey Kong, but... For yeah, some pretty reason, much. I, but, like, for some reason, like, I constantly get mixed up. Yeah. I don't know why. Mm. Remember, Wise is the more um, atmospheric, rare composer, at least as of the 90s. Kirk Hope sounds a little more whimsical. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, that's Wise was the original right? One of several, at least. Yeah, he's the one that everyone thinks about. Wise also no, DK six. Yeah, DK sixty four is Kirk. Okay, that might be why I'm getting confused. Maybe, yeah. Thing, uh, Grant Kirk is basically the three D collector from N sixty four guy. <laughs> oh God! Actually, Damn it! Have you heard the soundtrack to um uh to Mario Plus Rabbit? Um, I've heard the remix of the DK Isle theme. There's that. It's oh, really and the, 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 oh no! My favorite one is the uh, is the jungle is the jungle bat is the battle theme. Oh, I haven't heard that one. Like it's a remix of jungle. It's, it's a remix of jungle jinx. Hmm. From fifty four. Oh right. And that sounds so good. <laughs> I can tell it's jungle jinx specifically because of how it's, because of how how it's song progresses. Right. Like jungle hijinks and jungle jinx to me are are actually quite different. Hmm. There's, there's, there's subtleties to them that 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 make them like stand out. Yeah. Okay. Like I don't own the Donkey Kong DLC. I kind of wish I did, but oh. you know, part of the reason why. Got anything because I never Damn it, why? Mm. I thought the puzzle piece was gonna go higher than that. I actually. Mario Bros. Rabbit is four worlds, by the way. It's what? Four, world, four worlds of ten battles of, of ten chapters, I believe. Okay. And, uh. I'm pretty sure you heard about this. 
Game's hard. Well, I mean, I've, I, from what I understand, like the X, XCOM games are pretty difficult. So. It. it I don't think it's X. Uh, it's not directly XCOM, but it's. it's well, I mean, hard. it's the same kind. Uh, well, I mean, in the fact that like uh, it's a similar people, kind of it's, gameplay it's compared, system. It's compared to XCOM, but in terms of um how it's how it works. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it. That's why, man. Yeah, but it's also, Damn. but it's also easier than XCOM. Right. Well, because accuracy is just zero, fifty percent, or a hundred. Right. And uh, it, but like, I, I couldn't get past World Three. <sighs> Cause it got to, um, I, I, I don't even have all the characters. In fact, I'm, I'm only missing like, Yoshi and Rabbit. God, that stupid anime. But, um, yeah. It, it, the music is so good. <laughs> I. And it, it's interesting when you can make the rabbits likable. Yeah, right? <laughs> I used to, like. I. Like, I, I can't stand them in most games. Yeah, but in Rival's Rabbit, they're actually kind of charming. Yeah, which is really bizarre. <laughs> that's not that's not a sentence you, you, you ever hear. Yeah. Oh, that that might charming be charming because it's better writing, or they're just charming because they're next to Mario. I think, uh, a, a I think a little he's... bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I think a lot of it is due to the fact that they toned down the rabbits' like crazy behavior. Yeah, because they yeah, don't. Go, they don't yeah, yeah, especially the, the main hero ones. Yeah, because they don't go Bwah! every like five seconds. Yeah, they're actually acting more like an like proper antagonists in terms of the enemies. Yeah. And our hero ones are actually actually have their own like unique little personalities, and they're making this fun to watch. Yeah, I, I love that scene with like Luigi trying try to look at like Rabbit Peach's he phone. Got, he got Rabbit Peach Rabbit, and, uh, and Rabbit Luigi. Yeah, and then he's just like slowly like. And they're like, what? <laughs> Wait, uh, like them in the uh, cartoon. Wait, I can roll Wait. over there. Okay, uh, okay, that's fine. I can keep trying you this. Believe in yourself. All right, cool. We made it. We're out. That made me, made me panic a little bit, because I wasn't sure if the barrel was going to explode. Don't worry, it didn't have the, didn't have the uh, skull on it. Well, I mean, sometimes the arrow barrels can do that too. That's usually because environment. Yeah. Okay, well, we're done oh, here, so daddy. let's just get the boss done. Um, it's time for the mole train! I just remember this one going on for a bit. Yeah. Good luck losing all your health, though. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, falling off is the worst. Part, is, is the hard part. Yeah. I remember like when Johnny streamed this this game. He had he had like the hardest time with this boss for some reason. <laughs> I don't honestly remember it being that hard, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Hi. Here we go. Yay, we're on a ride. So you just kind of avoid this guy. Yeah, what's this music? It has more of the of the Tiki Tribe song I mean, instrument. Hmm. Like playing more string. I'm. I I do wonder if you can like just roll jump to the to this guy, but I don't really want to find out. I don't like risking it, especially with the kind of forward momentum going on here. Yeah, I'll test that for the time trial, but. Nah, uh, he's like, uh, hi. Yeah. Yes, it, yeah, it's still playing the strings. Yeah. I, I, I wonder if all the Tiki Tip bosses are like this, and I hope so, because that'd be a nice detail. That would be cool. The, ma the main problem, the main goal of this level is to get to the, is to, is to get to the front. Yeah. Oh, right, I forgot about that. 
Yeah, you just fire them off. We got to have to go basically. It's a bit of an endurance run, but it's not too bad. They, 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 they feed you hard relatively constantly. Yeah. Damn it. Ow. Okay, that kind of sucked. Oh. Crap. Well, don't worry. Bouncing on the enemy should give us some type of um, I think we I think we do have to hurt another one quickly, or we'll buy as well to do that again. Yeah. Nice. Alright, that should be good to go. Oh. Alright. Okay, when does that? <laughs> I think I think this is the last round of this stuff. Yeah, it would make sense. It's usually like rule of fray. Three. Yep. I think platform oh, ball is gonna be for three three up three round three round three hits per round. Yeah. Especially when you compare Mario bosses. Oh yeah. Where their their problem is to no. <laughs> I was hoping I'll blow up in his face. Wait, you know what the problem is with Mario bosses? Well, it's always like free. Look, look at the drag thing in Odyssey. Uh, I, I, I've crappy seen it, so. Oh, uh, it's like the fact that like the weak the weak point is so obvious. A, a little bit of that in a, mi in a mix of uh, how uh, it doesn't really like it, it, it's how it's so obvious because it's, it's, because you know it's the usual funky light. Oh right, I, I and guess so. And it broke down in like, like Scrappy Scrappy's seen the game or at least played it now, right? As I played, I beat not a few months ago. Thank you for your courtesy. Oh okay, fair okay. enough. I'm talking about the dragon because look at that giant ass beast. Three hits. Yeah, that- oh, oh, okay, I see what you mean now. So, like, the enemy feels like it should- like, it seems like it should- three hits. Yeah, like, so, some enemy- like, some bosses look like they should take a lot longer because of just what they are. <laughs> like- What they are and boss. Yeah. Dang it, I didn't want to do that. Whatever. Like, he, like all these bosses, they, they take nine hits because it, at least, it, yeah. at least in a sense, even if it is three hits, round changes, it's still still technically nine hits. Yeah, um, I mean that's not necessarily a good thing to can drag out boss fights and. I mean, it depends well, on how it's like, done, like because like phases or something else. Yeah, I think it depends on how it's done, like. Eh. So, most of the time I'm fine with bosses having free hits, because that usually works well for a platformer. Uh, we're not actually going to go to the forest, I guess we're just going to end this train of thought. <laughs> um, yeah, but, we might as well continue this conversation. Yeah, um, like, I, I'm usually, again, I'm usually fine with it, but uh, sometimes I guess it would, I guess it would be better if there was a bit more, because uh, I know, I know, I think it's the second boss with Camilla and Galaxy. I think she takes four hits. When yeah, that's why she's the best boss. <laughs> yeah, uh, whereas like the first time you fight her, it's only three. Um, if you're gonna have the boss be three hits, I think the hits need to feel more earned. Mm, I can. Yeah. I suppose I can kind like, of. Uh, a good that. example is the final boss of Bowser, actually, in Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. You have to earn the right to get to the free hits. Yeah. Like you have to properly dodge the things, get the hat, and, and you know, anticipate his attacks when he's doing it when he's guarding against you. Yeah. Like that's what I mean as an example of how three hits should be done. I still don't like mm. the fact that it's only three hits, but yeah. because it's, just, it's Bowser. Yeah, I. Mm. Like, because then I think about the the, ball, the final boss of Galaxy Two. <laughs> you know what I mean? I suppose the thing with Galaxy Wait, was too easy in Galaxy Two as well, so it's kind of weird. Well, I mean, the thing with Galaxy Two is that <laughs> that might be the mo the the Bowser boss with the most hit points technically, but the problem is just he's way too easy. Um, yeah. Odyssey. That's what I mean. The hits don't really necessarily feel that like 
it, 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 cause like he gives you way too many, it, the fight's too short. Yeah, cause you have the four hit, the four hits in his regular phase, and then the four hits in his other, like the super easy phase, and they, they <laughs> oh god. Cause that's what I mean. It's, or, like, or you have always just been a means to an song. end. You're gonna hear the full song at that rate. It's, it's, yeah. You, you, Cause like, it's really easy to finish when the song even finishes. The point, the thing with the thing with that scrappy is that while Bowser bosses haven't really had the best track record in terms of difficulty, and they, Junior is the exception. Bowser yeah. plays in Boom Boom. No. <laughs> yeah, but like, the thing is, the thing is, with, thing is with Bowser, um, all the all the final bosses up to that point have at least required some level of like, <laughs> like y having you like actually try. But the thing, the one in Galaxy 2 is just, you can turn your brain off, like, completely during that segment, and it's just... Eh, I had, even I had trouble with it, and I consider myself competent at Mario games. Uh, I, I don't know, like, I, I feel like it could have been a lot cooler. I don't know why we're talking about Galaxy 2 specifically so much right well, now, but... That's like, uh, I'm also gonna compare, cause like, I know, to go back to, to go back to Donkey Kong, it's like this is why I think the Donkey Kong bosses are overall handed be better because like um let's let's go to DKC one for a bit even if they're even, despite how easy those fights are except for Karul um it's like even those even they take like I think even Karul, I think it takes at least like five hits five or four or five hits or so before they yeah. actually go down like they, they, they uh, that's kind of just an arbitrary difference it's like very naughty doesn't is not very hard. <laughs> Even as a first boss, five hits doesn't mean much for him. Mm. But yeah, well, that's why really naughty changes it up by, uh, you know, by like making make, at least making it so it's harder to dodge as as you hit him. Yeah, I but, think. Uh, I mean, at that point, it's not really a matter of how many hits you need; it's just a matter of surviving to make a hit. Well, that well, that's what I mean by also a, a hit needs to feel more earned. Yeah, I think. Uh, I feel like DKC two and three. Are a better example because uh, the one the, the bosses in one aren't really too much to write home about. But the um the thing I think with the exception of Belcha, three has some of the better ones. Yeah. Um. The funny thing is that um, it, it's interesting that the bosses in Donkey Kong are a lot more resilient uh, than the ones in Mario. Even 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 though like this is a like. A, a big gorilla, like, jumping on these guys, <laughs> and, like, oh, man. Uh, they're more, more resilient, because, actually, I don't know, Mario in general has more, in a 2D games at least, Mario has more tools at his disposal to kill enemies. He does, but, like, when we, co comparing, like, just general strength, D Donkey Kong is, like, in another league compared to Mario, so it's just kind of interesting. Yeah, it makes you just wonder how weak his Mario's enemies are, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, like, like, the for being particularly strong, to be fair. Well, like, well, bounced on Bowser, you get what I mean. When I say that it would probably yeah. be it would probably be two hits at 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 most. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do well, I have anything else to say about this? <laughs> that was an interesting train of thought. Yeah, okay, I guess we'll see you guys next time in the forest, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get chased by itty bitty spiders at some point, and other, and other fun shenanigans shall be had. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed, because oh. my medicine's gonna kick in. Oh, banana. Chase, yeah. son. It's probably like the second or third best character in the game. Um, the engineer is the one you want to unlock as a beginner. The engineer is like really, really good for games because he essentially has uh, two turrets he can put down, but the turrets will have all his items, uh, like shared with them. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty good. Oh, 
I am ice. You can't stop me. I have a good iron. You can't stop me. Break the tendril, you tick we get over that. There we go. Clay Dune Strider. Where he at though? There he is. I found him. Oh, hello. You got a teddy bear. Yeah, I am sick. No. Yeah. Uh well that went badly. Oh no. Oh, this is a really bad run. <laughs> it kind of looks like No Man's Sky. I can, go, I can see it. Ironically, I'm still more finished than No Man's Sky despite being early access. Alright, the dogs are going to be in assholes. Oh, 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 oh. They have words. Most of them are ah, but still. Cool. Fucking deserve. I yeah, don't like that movie. I didn't cheese it. I worked hard for it. <laughs> I pulled myself up by my bootstraps. And you're just lazy. Little. I didn't make you. You volunteer. I was just saying I didn't I didn't hold you at gunpoint and force you to do it much. Alright, I'm gonna reset up my setup and get rid of my work setup for me. Thank you, good lord.
Oh my god. I thought I'd be like the guy who craves soda all day and wants to die. Uh, but it turns out I'm the guy who doesn't crave soda all day and does not, in fact, want to die. Which is good. So that's, like, that means I can keep going with it, right? Hell yeah. Honestly, my worst thing is probably just, like, I want flavor sometimes. It's not necessarily that I want to eat something, I just want to taste something. So I'm a big, some, like, bored eater. It's not even that, it's not even that I'm bored, it's just... Yes. I would love some, thank you very much. I love flavor. Flavor time? So I got some, like, uh, stuff you put in water that doesn't actually have any calories but makes it tasty on me, and then I have a small cup of M&Ms, which... Mm -hmm. second. Small cup of M&Ms, and what I like to do with my small cup of M&Ms is I will have one color a day. Let's need to eat a portion. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Uh-oh. <sighs> He's been getting really uncomfortable down there. Hey, come on!
Sorry, I missed your first match. There was food. Wasn't good.